Hello, it's John here from John and Bond. One of the most common questions that Benita and I get asked is, how do we start, what do we do next? And occasionally, how do we do something when we wish we hadn't? So, we've developed this creative painting system. Now, this is our creative painting book, which is really a home study book. Now, I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera because this is quite glossy paper and we're getting quite a bit of reflection. So, this is yours truly, a few years ago, but nevertheless, same people inside. The first page are the instructions, or the contents. The second bit gives you the instructions of how to stretch paper, general tips of what I'm going to need to do some of the paintings, especially watercolours. When we go through, we've got 60 full colour plates in these books. This is step-by-step -step instruction visually, a pictorial view. And then we've got the instructions to the left-hand side. As we work our way through, we've, Benita and I have selected six different paintings. If you follow this course and do these six paintings, I feel sure that you'll know a lot more at the end of the course than you do at the beginning, or hopefully you do. If not, then contact Benita and I because we'd like to hear from you. We'll give you any tips or advice we can. There's a cottage scene, very popular. Again, full instructions, full colour plates. As we work through, we do quite a few highland scenes, or it could be anywhere, it could be Wales, could be Scotland, could be England. And then we come on to the samples. Now, when I read a book, uh, probably the same as you, I always want to do the examples in the book. The problem is, by the time I sketched it out, I haven't really got time to do the painting. So we've done some pre uh, sketches on here, such as Bakewell Bridge, so you can get straight into the painting, because it's the painting that we're mostly concerned about, not the sketching. The sketching comes in a different course. So you've got clumber, or you've got bridges there, so you can practice your brickwork, your water, cottage scenes, and then flowers. Flowers are always popular. That's a scene of tulips, but it's the same principles to all flowers. Again, some landscapes. People like landscapes with lakes, waters. Plenty of opportunities to do skies. Then at the back, we've got six six full A4 sheets of watercolour paper. Now the watercolour paper in this book is artist grade watercolour paper. It's the paper we use ourselves. We also did three DVDs on this book. So if you want to, you can always... Wait a minute, when I find the right page. There you go. We've got the DVDs. In here it shows videos, but they're now DVDs or downloads. And uh, you can sort of have a look at those if you want a more uh, expressive way of doing these examples. So that's the Creative Painting book. We've tried to put everything in it that we can, that you might need. And also, we've tried to keep it down to a price that's affordable, because we think it's good for people to paint. So, from John, from John and Benita, uh, please come to the website. Uh, and we'll give you more instructions on how to paint in oils, acrylics, and sketching, and pastels, and anything anybody can think of. And if you've got any ideas of what you want to know about, or what you want to see, then please contact us. Thank you.